In my opinion, when it comes to sales, there is one rule that has not changed and will never change. And at the end of the day, sales is and always has been a relationship game. And so how we build relationships outside of our businesses is a really good indicator of how we should start to build our, biz our, our relationships within our business. And applying our, the concepts of human communication, compassion, empathy, interest, curiosity, all of those things. When we meet someone new, we always reach out with that curiosity. And so, like I said at the, at the top here, you know, this is a great time to really share the human experience and that we're all, we're all sharing the same thing and we're all motivated by the same things. Unfortunately, um, in many cases, fear, scarcity, lack, fear of failure, those are drivers that our overactive lizard brain oftentimes makes us default to. So as salespeople, we need to be in the field with, with solutions and opportunities and positivity and being able to come to our clients, first understanding where they are and then connecting these, these solutions that we offer according to and in context to what they're suffering from. Where is your prospect in, your, in, in relationship to your value proposition? Because the value proposition you had yesterday may not be relevant today. And you may need to change your approach to your value that you bring. And so, you know, we're the fastest in the industry or buy now, save more. Those things are not relevant, but that messaging is not going to land. And so if you're in a business that you're, you're still operating at your old value proposition, I would invite you to take a look at that and align that again with what you're finding out from your clients as their most immediate, critical and crucial needs now versus what it was even six months ago. Um, you may need to tweak your messaging. You may need to tweak that, that um, promise statement that you offer with your clients. You know, I, I think at the end of the day, we've got to just look at what is the outcome, not necessarily what we do, but what is the outcome that we offer a client in this season or any season, and it should always be aligned to how your clients, your prospects, see their most critical, pervasive, and expensive issues.